so we are back uh, in the wasteland we are at the uh, H center now it's like a big conversation and then we need to uh, then we need to heal and to buy some supplies so this video won't have much more comment than this I will just take the, the mic off now and next video we'll explore uh, this agro center but with uh, the team completely healed Rangers, where have you been? Ms. Lawson, meet the new recruits. Recruits, meet Ms. Lawson. Forget the friendly introductions, Angie. Wasn't the deal we made with the Rangers, we give you food, you give us protection. Well, your recruits are looking pretty goddamn well fed, but we've been up to our tits in killer tomatoes for eight hours and not a Ranger in sight. <sighs> you should take it from here, recruits. Learning to deal with angry citizens is part of the job. As if the rest of this craziness wasn't enough, the plants are also starting to explode. Get too close to one of those red pods and BAM! Huh. Come to think of it, everyone who's changed into one of those pod people got blasted first. If I could get one of those pods to study, intact, I might be able to come up with a cure. You'll need to move slow and careful to get close to the pod without setting it off. If one of you greenhorns has a green thumb, that might come in handy too. I suppose a handful of fragments of pods, let's say ten, would do the trick if you can't manage to collect a whole one. If we don't find a cure, the infection will surge back and we'll all be dead. You want to use our radio dish now. Can you see we're in the middle of a fucking crisis? Fuck you. Go find it yourselves. All right, fine. Doesn't matter anyway. The plants overwhelmed the damn thing about 20 minutes ago. We haven't been able to call out since. You want to check it out? It's in the greenhouse just down the hall to the west.
About time. Now listen, we think the mutations stem from contamination in our irrigation system. Unfortunately, the computer that operates the pumps seems to be malfunctioning and we can't shut it off remotely. Maybe its circuits are overloaded from all the alarms going off. The computer is down the corridor past the airlock behind us. I can open that lock, but if you're gonna do your job and rescue our guys, see Rose. She has the current override codes for the greenhouse airlocks. Either way, we'll lead you to the computer room eventually. If you can get the computer working, you can shut down the pumps from there. If not, you'll have to go into the east and west fields and turn off the valves by hand. Now get going before any more of my people die. Sometimes I think that thing is more trouble than it's worth. It's supposed to automate all our irrigation and feeding, but it seems to be, like, on the fritz most of the time. Yes, go. Do your job. I'll open the central airlocks for you now, but remember, we might have people trapped in the greenhouses, so talk to Rose for the door codes. says she can fix me up. I hope so. Hurts like the dickens. Hmm. I recognize the uniforms, but not the faces. Y'all must be new recruits. Hope this ain't your first dance, though, because I got the feeling it ain't gonna be a walk in the park. Name's Matt Forrestall. I guess I'm the boss around here. Used to wear one of them stars, though, back in the day. Yes, indeed. I was a ranger. Back before old Vargas's hair turned gray and Ace was just still a three of clubs. Quit to run the Ag Center after I took a bullet in the gut. Missed any organs, but I just couldn't move like I used to. Yeah, I heard. Bet I knew before the rangers did. Damn shame. Wish I could have gone to his retirement party. Hope you kids did him proud. Heard about it from one of our farmers named Skinner. Said he talked to some wandering merchant who traveled with him and seen the attack. Recognized Ace by his description. <laughs> that crazy hair of his. Don't know anything else about him. You're welcome to ask Skinner if he's still alive. He helps cultivate the fungi in the mushroom caves. Good man, if a little too partial to snake squeezing. <laughs> Last I saw of him, he was in the mushroom caves looking for his family right after the plants went loco. <sighs> That's some foul stuff. Like gin, it was made in a bathtub somebody died in. Yeah, it does take the edge off from time to time, though. They're below the center. You can get to them through the computer room. Perfect for growing fungi down there. Sorry. Wish I did. Skinner just said the merchant told him it was a strange man, but that was all. Maybe you can get more out of him. Damn proud of this place. Signed on here, cause I figured there were ways other than shooting bad guys that I could make the wasteland a better place. And make a profit at the same time. Not doing too bad at it either. <laughs> Got a little distribution deal with the rail nomads and hopefully soon we'll be keeping the local communities fat and happy. Even Ranger Citadel. Of course, this little crisis might change all that. Serious setback. 
Well, the food ain't doing any good if it just sits here and rots, is it? I let the researchers figure out the best way of growing things. My job is to get it to the people. Don't know what happened exactly. Rose seems to think our irrigation system's been monkeyed with. Whatever it is, everything in the facility is mutating faster than we can keep track of. The plants are growing weird, exploding pods, the insects are as big as bear cats. Even the men. I don't know what they're turning into, but it's horrible. It's gotta be stopped. Got a little too close to one of those exploding pods. Now I got a little plant shrapnel souvenir. No big deal. They're red seed pods that explode when you get close to them. That's what happened to me. Tried to go in and pull one of the farmers out. Damn pod went off like a grenade. Still haven't got all the shrapnel out either. Stings like damnation. One of our researchers, a mentor to all the rest of us. I think she's working down the hall to the left there. Yeah. Once they get themselves straightened out, we plan to use their rail lines to ship to all our customers. But until we can stop this crisis and make sure the food is safe again, nobody's going to get fed. Normally, just keep everything organized and humming along. Today, get blown up, fail to help my people, I, I guess... Sorry, Rangers. I don't mean to be all self-pity and rain clouds. Just having a shitty day. We've lost a lot of good ones, but I'm damn proud of everyone. We haven't had widespread panic. Tensions aren't spilling over too bad. Folks are doing their honest best trying to help where they can. If you find anyone as you make your way into the complex, I'll make sure you get commendations and compensation helping them out. Well, I don't know if we're gonna manage to find a way to reverse all this, but we gotta at least stop it from getting worse, and that means we gotta get that irrigation system turned off. You already talked to Kathy about that, right? Things are a little paltry right now, but you know, I've got some gear you can make use of. Thanks for coming by, Rangers. Always good to see new recruits taking the first steps into the big wide world.
Sure thing. Take, <coughs> take, take a look. Feeling a bit poorly just now. Those spores seem to be doing a number on my nerves. I, I hope you managed to bring back one of them pods for Kathy, or I'm afraid I'm a goner. Sh sure thing. Take, <coughs> take, take a look. Thank <laughs> you. 
Good luck. Rangers. Any recruits? <laughs> How'd you do in there? So, we are done for this video. Next video, we're going to start exploring this area. Apparently, Rose is to the east, so I think we're going first to try to explore the east of this area. But for now, this is it for this video. This is just the squad uh, getting ready to explore the, the center.